Foundation Fighting Blindness presents Beacon Story, Carolyn Marshall Covington, in partnership with the Allergan Foundation. As a child, I always said I wanted to become a famous hairstylist, travel the world, and have a chain of salons. Sitting at a mirror, Carolyn puts on makeup. And actually, God allowed me to do all of that before losing my sight and some more, but I had no idea it was going to happen. Carolyn Marshall Covington sits in her living room in Raleigh, North Carolina. I thought I was just going to go get some really cool glasses. You know, I love frames. I love designer frames. So I thought that's what they were going to do. But I was told that I had a very rare eye disease and that it was genetic and that I would go blind and that there was no cure for it. So. Carolyn was diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa, RP, a degenerative eye disease causing visual impairment. I lost all of my peripheral vision, it was left with maybe 10 degrees central, which is actually fading away now as well. It, it's like this. I'm, I'm, I'm almost blind. You never know in life what may happen. You know, sometimes life just happens. Carolyn stands with her cane, giving a speech to a class of beauty school students and you have to start all over, and you have to rediscover your passion. You have to change the way you do things. You have to move in a different direction, but yet you're still able to pursue your dreams, your passion, you're, you're still able to live and help others. Helping others is the key to helping yourself to heal and to keep moving forward, because you take the focus off of you, because it's not about us. She memorizes her speeches, rehearsing at her home office. After I came to grips with it and accepted my blindness, I realized I could still be the same person I was before. Happy, outgoing, energized, excited about everything, uh, because I have a life to live. Carolyn works with an instructor, learning reflexology techniques. I like to bring the same energy that I used in the beauty and the fashion industry into our blind community. There's a lot of visually impaired people who are unemployed and they're seeking employment. So I thought that if we were able to train them to do something in the wellness field where they could even actually become entrepreneurs, that this would be very rewarding for them and actually it would change their financial situations. Oh, I love the energy in here. I really do. I do, I do. So, yeah, so we have to be passionate. I am as passionate today through and beyond my challenges as I was the first day that I stepped into the beauty industry, which was a very long time ago. I had to redefine and find my passion again after coming out of my darkness of losing my sight. But I realized that my life was built around the beauty industry. And the beauty industry is who embraces me. There is hope out there. And so that's all I needed to hear was there's hope. Um, you know, because even with getting up out of my darkness, I had to actually choose faith over fear to be able to get back out there. And then to find out that there was even a hope for a cure, it really lifted me so I could get back out and be myself again. For more stories like Carolyn's and to see how you can help, visit fightingblindness.org.